What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to cover what I think are the best kinetic weapons in that slot. Little exotic, a little bit of legendary that you can take into the final shape with you that I think are going to absolutely dap up based on some of the changes that we got with the weapons from the devs in that little coverage for the final shape change. So we're going to cover those first really quick for this video and for our energy and power weapons as well so against all combatants pulse rifles are getting a 20 percent increase pellet shotguns a 10 percent slug shotguns nine fusion rifles seven sniper seven glaive projectiles seven percent linear fusions at five now against red bar enemies specifically sidearms trace rifles scout rifles and bows get 20 percent autos and pulse rifles get 15 this means that the 15 percent down here plus the 20 percent against all of those enemies gives us about a 38 percent more damage against red bars so pulse rifles are going to be absolutely disgusting those red bars smgs are doing 10 percent more hand cannons five percent more against those majors those orange bar enemies we have trace rifles doing an additional 20 percent there so they're doing 20 percent against red bars as well as those orange bars and then glow Globally increase, including the PvP, is machine gun and swords so get a 7% increase. So that is against all enemy types, kind of just like the 20% for the pulse rifles. So the changes definitely made me pick these weapons to what I think are going to be best in each of these slots with these buffs and then some of the exotic nerfs and such like that. Now for these weapons, I did cover in yesterday's video the origin traits that I think are going to be the best for the final shape. So go give that a look out it'll be in the left hand corner right now i'm going to exclude those weapons from this list as well so there will be some of those that are also very very good that i do suggest having so make sure to go watch that that covers everything in all three of the slots just with some banger banger origin traits like the brave weapons and indomitability so starting us off with these kinetic slots i am gonna go with the scatter signal this is a rapid fire frame fusion rifle in our kinetic slot that is strand burn it is very very good at dps overflow with controlled burst is a very good option for damaging those enemies almost a 5.0 according to light.gg so this thing is definitely essential to grab you can craft this as well for the final shape we'll be able to do a, a little bit of that enhancement maybe on it as well so definitely grab this fusion next off we got a another fusion rifle a little bit easier to grab the god roll but it is not craftable so we will be able to enhance these perks next season with the riptide it is a stasis fusion rifle in our kinetic slot of course this has the option of a chill clip on it which is such a good pve perk definitely use it in a lot of my end game content between this and the scatter signal are easily my most used used fusion rifles in the game and they're both in the kinetic slot next on the list is a king's fall weapon with the smite of moraine this is an adaptive frame a 390 rpm a pulse rifle has some pretty solid perks like stats for all one for all a very very good pve combo as well as something like a demolitionist and firefly on it so it has very good combinations of perks in the third and fourth column i know it does come from a raid but it definitely is one of my most go-to kinetic pulse rifles in the game so i definitely think that this will be a, a great one to have inside of the final shape next off we got the supremacy sniper rifle right here from the last wish raid definitely my favorite kinetic sniper right alongside the succession but this is a rapid fire frame with the ability to have rewind rounds on this with kinetic tremors or something like four times the charm a bait and switch it is absolutely disgusting for damage keeping those majors champions at bay and when you run out of ammo in your heavy 
Aegis, this is a very, very good option to throw on for PvE. So I know it comes from the Last Wish raid, but you're very, very easily able to farm Kali, the first boss of it. Plus, good old Marastov gave you a good amount of chances with those quests, give you five red border options, those little keys to grab Last Wish weapons. So this is definitely one that I would grab. Next on our list is the Waveframe Tusk of the Boar Strand Grenade Launcher. I know we don't have any more Iron Banners this season, but in the future we will. Plus, I'm sure everybody was farming for these over the last couple Iron Banners since we had a bunch this season. Envious Assassin on this Bait and Switch Chain Reaction Vorpal Weapon. This thing is definitely, definitely going to be very good for that. Add Clear, pairing it with Strand, maybe even Prismatic. The only downside is Waveframes did get a, a little nerf, if you would call it that. It's just the fact that Blast Radius and Chain Reaction are now tied together, so it's a, a little bit of a nerf, and the Wave kind of is also depending on that Blast Radius, so I still think they're going to be absolutely disgusting, but I am also a big old nerd for Waveframes. Next on the list, we got the Fate Bringer Hand Cannon in the Kinetic Slot. Love this thing. It is from the Vault of Glass, but very easy to get some LFGs to go through that on Templar. Definitely a very easy encounter on a normal version, and it is definitely one of the best Kinetic Hand Cannons to have. Being able to enhance these perks as well is going to be super sweet if it is part of that rotation, but not 100% sure because we do have adept versions of this already so definitely either way it's one of the best hand cannons in the kinetic slot next on the list another hand cannon which is that heavy burst it fires a two round burst that is very very hard hitting this is carrying those lucky pants hunters around in some of that end game content the two round burst is pretty nasty i do like it for onslaught things like that so i think this is going to be a, a big old goal to for me inside of the final shape especially since lucky pants is staying the same didn't really get changed at all it's gonna absolutely carry through that story and maybe even the day one raid next on the list is probably the most slept on shotgun in the game that can be crafted for sure the light frame waste lander shotgun here in our kinetic slot is a very good gun for both pvp as well as pve has a pugilist on it one two punch trench barrel we got slide shot opening shot for the crucibles so definitely a suggested weapon to take in both of those realms for the final shape and it is our only shotgun here in the kinetic slot that i threw on this list number nine right here for our legendaries before we cover our five exotics we have the buzzard sidearm right here adaptive frames it is a 300 rpm kinetic sidearm they are getting that 20 percent increase against red bar enemies with something like fourth times the charm overflow as well as kinetic tremors vorpal weapon this thing has some potential for the pve realm especially with those buffs that they are getting and people do love it inside of the crucible but i definitely use it way more inside of the pve out of the game last on our list right here for the legendaries is the ignition code grenade launcher which is a breach frame in our kinetic slot this thing has the disorient Orienting blinding grenades with a slide shot as well as something like stats for all Vorpal or demo in that last column. So this thing is absolutely juiced for the PVE realm. It is a little tricky to get. You got to go play the Dares of Eternity in the right week. Please that star horse, if you will, and get lucky with your drops to grab this and then get lucky enough to get the right roll on it. But it is going to be absolutely disgusting for the final shape. I absolutely love it purely purely for that disorienting grenades on it keeps everything at bay tormentors champions and stuff like that so definitely gonna be in my rotation for the final shape on to exotics we got our outbreak perfected of course with that juicy buffs that pulse rifles are getting in general that 38 percent increase to red bars in damage is disgusting then with the combinations of perks that we can have on the crafted outbreak with the corruption spreads paratism on this rewind rounds with attack 
tactical mag is absolutely disgusting on this weapon and i definitely suggest y'all go through the zero hour grab it grab the upgrades for it get this thing crafted because final shape it is going to be probably the number one it used exotic especially in the kinetic slot next on the list is the trusty dusty wither horde which has basically stood the change of times with all the sandbox changes over the years this thing is disgusting prime evil's torment with that blight that it throws out breaking the bank as well it damages over time so this thing is disgusting for ad clear as well as that damage procs bait and switch really easy because of that overtime tick so definitely get this if you have not next off we got is and nagi's a burden honed edge no distraction so the aiming gives us a less flinch plus hone edge we can combine four rounds together to create one juicy shot that is used very often in damage rotations shoot this reload it do a little boom boom with your other two weapons to get bait and switch to proc empty out your heavy switch back to this do damage whatever it may be very very good for damage inside of the pve realm another staple for the pve realm in the kinetic slot is the arbalist linear fusion right here it has the intrinsic potential to break anti-barrier shields so this thing is disgusting for that alone plus it has disrupting break when we break shields it makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief time which this does do kinetic damage so it just stacks its own damage basically plus that compounding force it is a massive damage against the combatant shield so if you don't have it definitely a staple for pve gonna be killer inside of the final shape and last but not least i'm gonna throw the monte carlo in here one because of its 15 percent buff it's getting next season in that damage plus with the defeats on this weapon and dealing damage we have a reduced melee cooldown and chance of getting it fully back with that markov change where we can use the melee kill of the weapon to do some pretty crazy damage for that little melee pairing it with like syntheseps and with that new prismatic subclass is going to be disgusting i think being able to pair it with some crazy combinations of melees super stuff like that and prismatic is going to be disgusting so pve that's what we're rounding it out with those 15 weapons love love what we're getting with sandbox changes prismatic is nasty the new system where we can focus some exotics at master raw wool the new reward system which is combining those bounties and those challenges for our vendors together instead of having to do them separately it is going to be a crazy crazy update and i am so excited to make content for y'all and go through it help you guys out in the best way to not waste your time in these new seasons get yourself the best weapons make yourself the best builds so don't forget to slap that bell if you haven't so you get the notifications like and subscribe on the video as well helps me out a bunch helps the channel out a bunch so i appreciate all you guys again i'll catch you in the next one peace